Kobe, you're at your second World Cup now. You traveled all the way to South Africa, now to Brazil. So what do you say to those who still think Americans don't love soccer? Uh, you know, I, I think it's, uh, you know, it's been an, ev an evolving process. You know, it's taken some time for us to really catch up to the, you know, what a beautiful game the sport is. Uh, but I think that tide has turned, and uh, now it's just about trying to get to that world-class level. You grew up in Italy, yeah. of course. You have lots of friends, I'm sure, on various national teams over yeah. here. So how do you keep it all straight? Who are you, who are you rooting for well, here? Well, no, I root for the USA, you know, but obviously I have strong ties to Italy and uh, have several f friends playing on different teams. So you know, I try to pull for uh, all of them when they're playing, but ultimately root for USA. Right. How long are you here, and, and how many games are you catching? I think we're going to catch three games. Uh, we caught the um, uh, that Spain and Netherlands drubbing, and then we're going to watch Portugal play Germany, and uh, we're going to catch one other one too, uh, Brazil, Mexico. So Portugal, Germany, and Brazil, Mexico. Brazil, Mexico. Unfortunately, no U.S. games. Unfortunately, no U.S. games. Right. How do you compare the environment of a World Cup to the NBA Finals? Oh, man, it's it's. it's you know, it's the NBA Finals you know, times 10. <laughs> you know, because you're putting it on a global stage. So you're seeing people from different, you know, cultural backgrounds, speaking different languages, all coming together through the sport of soccer. So. How much of the NBA Finals have you actually been watching? I haven't seen one game. Really? Is that on purpose? No, unfortunately, no. <laughs> I, 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 you get um, busy with uh, you know, training and getting ready, as well as doing some of the other things that I'm really interested in now from a business perspective, and you kind of lose track of time. And uh, next thing you know, the game's fourth quarter or two or three minutes left in the fourth quarter. At that point, I don't even bother. You'd rather be out playing with the kids. Yeah, I'd rather be out playing with the kids. And, you know, the Which one thing I know about the finals is that the Lakers aren't winning, so. <laughs> <laughs> but hanging out with the kids has been the most, the most fun. We won't go there with the Lakers. <laughs> We're going to stay away from that one. Um, I'm sure you heard U.S. coach Jurgen Klinsmann talk about how he thinks American coaches defer too much right. to, to stars. And, and I'm going to read you the quote from the New York Times. Yeah. Kobe Bryant, for example, why does he get a two-year contract extension for $50 million? Because of what he's doing now? Of course not. He gets it because of what he has done before. It makes no sense. Why right. do you pay for what has already happened? What was your reaction to that? I, I thought it was pretty funny. I, I thought it was pretty, pretty comical, actually. I, you know, but you know, I, I, I see his perspective. I think uh, the one perspective that he's missing from an ownership point of view is that you want to be uh, an ownership, ownership group that's rewarding its players for what they've done while balancing the team going forward. So if you're another player in the future and you're looking at the Lakers organization, you want to be a part of an organization that takes care of its players while at the same time planning for the future. And I think that's something that, you know, Jorgen is, you know, he's a, he's a coach, he's a manager, he's not a GM or owner of a franchise. And so when you're looking at it from that perspective, it changes a little bit. Right. But he probably could have used another player as an example. <laughs> have you guys hugged it out since? Oh, no, I don't, I don't need to hug it out with Klinsman. <laughs> you're not going to? No, nah, I probably won't. <laughs> he, he also said, and I'd be interested in your reaction, as a somewhat competitive player, when he talks about the U.S., and he said this a few times, the U.S. isn't ready to win a World Cup. Mm. We're, we're not there yet, is what he, he has said. If, if a coach said that to you, what would, you, what would your reaction be? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, honestly, I don't think they'd ever say that to me. You know, my reputation precede, precedes me. <laughs> but as a team, I think you just rally around it. And I think you have to look at it from the point of view of he's trying to do a tactic to really motivate his guys. Maybe in, you know, even at the point of making him self the bad guy you know, to the team. Uh, as long as it brings the guys together and they can go out there and perform and try to prove their coach wrong, um, then it works. What do you think about this so-called group of death, by the way? <laughs> it's a tough draw. It's a tough draw. But we're up for the challenge. You know, if you're going to be the best, you've got to go through the best. Um, so I think we're up for it. Who are you taking? Who do you fancy for this World Cup? Well, if you asked me a couple years ago, I would have said Germany. Um, as I sit here now, I'd, I'd, I'd love to see a Brazil and Argentina final. Can you imagine having oh walked down it, you know, today? <laughs> it, it would be absolutely crazy. And I think it'd be beautiful for the sport. And you have uh, 
you know, two of the best players uh, going head up, the player that's here now and the player that I think can carry the next generation. And uh, I mean, it'd be, it'd be a great one. How well do you know Neymar? I met him last year for the first time, and you know the thing that I was impressed with is uh, he's got a, he's got a little mean streak to him. He's got a he's got a little competitive uh, streak to him, uh, which to go along with his skill and his creativity, you know that's that could be the uh, the difference maker. Would you be okay with Brazil getting a sixth title before you? <laughs> of course, of course. Really? That yeah, would be. It's, oh, Kobe, you're getting yeah. soft on me. I mean, it's different sports. Different sports. Now, if, if you ask me if I'm okay with Tim doing it, no, I'm not. <laughs> not okay with that. All right. Thank you so much. You got it.